Unit 3, free time activities. We are here with period number 6. Period number 6 is a very interesting and a very short period, which is about language, vocabulary review. Sorry, it's about vocabulary review. And here we will review this vocabulary. These are some activities, and uh, we will learn about them in activity number 1. And two, we will add more, and then we will use these into vocabs. Let's start. See, add these activities to the table below. We have some activities, and for these activities, we use these verbs: do, cooking, go swimming, and play volleyball. Do cooking. What else do we do? Do we do camping? Do we do flower arranging? Do we do photography? Do we do rugby? Do we do tennis? Or do we do whitewater rafting? So these activities, we are supposed to add them in this table. So when we start with do, we have doing photography. And we also do flower arrangements are flower arranging we go swimming we use go when we need to change our place in do cooking maybe we do not we are not supposed to change our place for example i do cooking in my kitchen and maybe if i go camping i will do cooking there so in doing cooking you are not supposed to change your places. You are doing flower arrangement at any place. But when you go swimming, it means that you need a special place to do that activity. We have go camping and we have go whitewater rafting. We play volleyball and we play rugby and we play tennis. All the sports come here. Then we have some more words uh, it is not here Let's see you can check it from your book it is art basketball climbing homework running and the guitar so we will add them here so do do art and we do homework go climbing and running and play basketball and the guitar so this is our activity number one where we add activities with the correct forms of the verb do go and play the second activity is activity we add these words to verbs from the passage on page 37 we have three vocabs here a design a job and an order See, we accept an order. Joe's dad lost his job. Sorry. Joe's dad lost his job and uh, she made a design. Right? So, with these verbs, we use these vocabulary we accept an order we lose a job and we make a design now your book says add these other words that also go with the words an appointment a cake an idea an invitation a match a mistake a person a phone and wait so pause the video here and write your answers then check them with mine I'll continue. We accept an invitation. We accept an idea. And we accept a person. See, after a successful interview, we may accept a person as our secretary. So we give him or her a job. So lose a job. You lose a match. You lose a phone and uh, you lose weight. Something very difficult to do. 
So phone, keys, it's like that. But when we come to make, we make a cake, we make an appointment, and we make a mistake. Now see, we also make a phone call, right? We accept a competition, we accept a match. So these can be interchangeable. Now pause the video here and add these words into the word, the blanks down, It is very, very easy. Sentences with verb noun pairs from the network above make any changes needed. Number one, Tom prefers the old ways. He takes a long time to old ways to accept an idea. That's new. Number two, I'm not very well. I'm going to make an appointment to see the doctor. Our team are doing well. They haven't lost a match all year. I'm 8 kilos too heavy. I really need to lose weight. I dashed and went the wrong way. I had to go back and start again. I made a mistake. I've dashed to a party on Saturday, but I may not enjoy it. Because I only know one or two other people who will be there. I accepted an invitation. This was the end of period number six. Please write the answers in your book and uh, take care.